As we watched these storms roll through, one of the first places we saw damage was Jacksboro High School. The good news is everything was able, everyone rather was able to find shelter before the storm hit, but the building will need a lot of repair. Now joining us live to talk more about this is Superintendent of Jacksboro ISD, Brad Burnett. Mr. Burnett, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Again, our prayers and our thoughts are with you guys right now. How significant is the damage in your school district right now? Uh, the damage is significant, as you can see behind me, our, our high school gym sustained uh, catastrophic damage, uh, very similar to the images you saw at the uh, elementary school. So significant damage, uh, but uh, a lot of our academic classrooms at the high school and at the elementary school uh, sustained minimal damage if and and some no damage at all yeah. uh, we've got uh, structural engineers out and uh, uh, mitigation crews cleaning up the debris and assessing the situation uh, and they're they're telling me there's a, a really strong possibility that we can resume classes here at the high school campus as early as Monday and uh, potentially be able to have some classes in our elementary campus uh, on Monday as well. Uh, we're reaching out to some of our local churches uh, to uh, explore the possibility of maybe uh, having some of our uh, other elementary classes in some of our uh, uh, community churches. Yeah, possibly. Mr. Burnett, so I that, see. Th uh, that would give us the uh, opportunity to, to start, resume our classes on Monday. Yeah, Mr. Burnett, it looks like you guys do uh, definitely working on plans. Did the school district or has the school district plan for the possibility of something like that uh, prior to yesterday? Well, obviously we, we have uh, emergency shelter drills, uh, fire drills uh, as part of our emergency operations plan. Yeah. Uh, we, we practice those drills regularly uh, at the beginning of the year and periodically throughout the year. And, and obviously uh, springtime brings the threat of severe weather and so, uh, you know, our campus principals are, are very good about, uh, you know, reminding their staff and students of what those, those plans are. Yeah. And uh, they, our staff just sprang into action uh, when we uh, knew there was an imminent threat of a tornado. And I couldn't be more proud of my campus principals and their staff. And, uh, you know, I, I have no doubt that our elementary principal, Michael Qualls, saved lives yesterday, and I'm so yeah. thankful for the action that he took. Yeah, so uh, heroic there. And it sounds like it's, uh, there's a big community effort in Jacksboro right now to help the school district um, get back to some sense of, uh, I hate to say normalcy, but what the new norm may be. It sounds like the school district and the community is involved in this effort. Oh, absolutely. We're, uh, this is a very close-knit community. Uh, we understand that the, uh, the schools are the center of our community and the focal point. Our community takes a, lot, a great pride in our schools. Uh, obviously, they're heartbroken over the, uh, the state of our campuses, but we, we know we can rebuild these buildings behind me, but yeah. we cannot replace lives. And so we're just so thankful that no one was injured on any of our school campuses. Uh, we were able to uh, protect our, uh, our most uh, valued possession and that's our students yeah and uh are the pin the outpouring from the community and and all of our i've heard from so many superintendents across the state of texas that uh, have offered support uh, offered supplies yeah uh, it's, it's honestly it's just overwhelming but uh, our community is is here for us and and we're here for our community and lastly mr burnett is there any message that you want to send to the parents and students right now uh Man, we're just praying for our, our students. Uh, I know uh, from the damage around the community, I know some of our students have lost their homes. Uh, I'm just heartbroken over that. Some of my staff uh, at Jacksboro ISD uh, have lost their homes. Uh, so we're just you know, in a, 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 a process of just cleaning up yeah. and, and evaluating the situation around the community. But, uh, I just want to tell our, our students and staff that I'm proud of you, uh, parents, 
we're going to do our best to, to get our schools back open and provide instruction and meals for your students as soon as possible. Mr. Burnett, thank you so very much for your time. I know you got to get back to a lot of work over there, but know that we're here as a resource for you guys as you continue to deal with this cleanup. Thank you so much. You bet.